in glass houses shouldn't A, throw stones, B, masturbate by torchlights, <laughs> C, complain about the greenhouse effects, D, pass up the opportunity to grow tomatoes, E, pick a fight with a pebble dasher, F, sing loudly in the exact pitch that the glass house resonates. G, fill up the glass house with seawater and attempt to live with a great white shark in order to prove that man and shark can happily cohabit. And H, sellotape crumbs to the inside of the glass house as a trap for birds. <laughs> so good evening. Uh, hello, nice to be here. This side of the room, make some noise! Yeah. This side of the room, try and beat them in terms of volume! Yeah. Come on, you're better than them! Yeah. You're better than them! Yeah. That's how racism starts. <laughs> so good evening, uh, it's nice to be here. Now, there comes a point when you're at jockey school, uh, when you're forced to make a decision between horses or records. <laughs> Now, uh, it's quite a big day in the school. You, uh, you get a lot of guidance from the staff. The, uh, the smaller kids, they push more towards the horses. Uh, and that's why we have so many fat DJs. <laughs> so good evening. Now, uh, I got a letter from the government the other day. I opened and read it. It said they're changing the day they take recycling. So, I'm, uh, it's nice to be here. I've had a brilliant year so far this year, because uh, I've put several plans into operation this year. My, uh, my first plan for 2010 was to reclaim the phrase, I'm not being racist, right? But, uh, from all the racist twats that use it, because essentially the phrase, I'm not being racist, right? But basically means, I'm about to be racist. Please keep any objections to yourself. So I've started using that phrase in situations that have no racial context. Now, I'm not being racist, right? But it's just a train to Reading. <laughs> it's brilliant, yeah, it really puts people on the back foot. They, uh, they assume you're going to be racist. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey. And that bloke just said he wasn't going to be racist. And then wasn't fucking racist. <laughs> fuck, I'm not being racist, but you fancy another drink. Try it yourselves. Confuses the fuck out of people. It's particularly good with those women who are addicted to fake tan. The ones? I'm not being racist, right? But what race are you? I've got quite a lot of travelling in my time, I've not seen that colour before. That's one of my plans. I've started going, in, going into bars. You know when you go, uh, can I have a Coke? And they go, it's Pepsi, is that alright? I've started going, no. <laughs> You've lost my business, and I'm going to out dramatically. I've started touching things with barge poles. <laughs> Just to give that phrase a bit more meaning, you know. I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole, really. Do you touch a lot of things with... Barge poles, only things I like. Come here, you. I started hiding in dark alleyways, running a balaclava, and jumping out and going, ah! People wearing them no fear t shirts. <laughs> Fucks them up. So, uh, you're probably slightly confused by the gender uh, aspects of my appearance. Um, well done. I'm a transvestite, uh, uh, and uh, I don't really like the word transvestite. I've used that so you're not talking about. I don't really sort of too politically correct. I prefer the term gender spastic. <laughs> That's just what I feel comfortable with. Now, uh, people assume I'm gay because I cross dress. I'm not gay. I'm actually ridiculously heterosexual. So, uh, ladies, <laughs> if you're bored of knowing where your clothes are, <laughs> sort of like the gay best friend you can fuck, basically. The gawk one you can take home, if you like. I have a girly not in, share a bottle of wine, have a gossip, then I'll take you roughly up the shops. Now, uh, we've been a delight, we've only got a short amount of time, but uh, I'm playing uh, the Tron, and uh, my show's called Andrew O'Neill, uh, and so am I, so it's easy to link those two together. You've been a delight, thank you very much, bye. <laughs>